don't know why it came into my mind, but I... Um, obviously when I was a little boy, I used to be able to remember the steps for dancing. And there was a, a sort of garden party or something, and I remember a great green meadow, and I was there dancing. Well, I, I never was very elegant in my movements, but I think I just remembered what to do. Synthetic memory is the reconstruction of a personal story, of a memory, into an image or a video using generative AI. And this project works in the intersection between arts, technology, and community, uh, with the aim to help people uh, dignify and recover parts of the past that have been lost. Essentially, Synthetic Memories was born at the intersection of two questions. The first one being, how can technology preserve memory? And the second one, how can AI serve the common good? And so one of the first things that we decided to do is bring those two universes together, seeing how AI can be a tool of mediation to represent and document all these undocumented memories. The Citizen Office for Synthetic Memories was not expected to be experienced as a regular exhibition. More than a visitor, you are a participant, and we were building a prototype, a functioning prototype, for another kind of municipal service that the City of Barcelona is offering. Through the online interface, you can book one hour in which the team of the office will be helping you to recover a memory. First, you are welcome in the office, and then you sit down in a one-to-one -one interview with a prompter and an interviewer. We always start with this simple question that is, um, what is your earliest memory? And from there, we start to jump from one question to the other, kind of driving the conversation into building up stories. We transform them using generative AI into a series of images and videos that then are exposed to the person, to the participant. And then you can see there is a kind of clear reaction to it. Sometimes it's like super fast and someone says, yeah, that was exactly like this. But sometimes it takes more time and they say, no, the wall on the end, it was not green, it was brown, or it was not during the day, it was during the night. And then you fine tune the prompt until you get to an image that the participant can say, yes, that's how I remember it. Interrogates the notion of what is a memory. We are trying to turn these memories into objects, and these objects are actually becoming artifacts for debate. Devices that we use to prompt what do we remember about our childhood or about the place in which we were born, or about moments that had a big significance in our personal biography. One of the research that we are doing now is exploring how synthetic memories can help in the space of reminiscent therapy uh, enhance cognitive abilities from uh, patients with dementia and Alzheimer. So reminiscence therapy is a technique that's been used for many, many years with older adults with dementia and other cognitive impairments. And basically what it does is it encourages uh, these individuals to tell their stories to people. And what the research has found is by telling their stories, they actually have quite positive impacts on their cognition and their memory, and also on things such as their mood and their emotions. We firmly believe that culture and the arts are the laboratory of society. They are a space in which we can rehearse and imagine new forms of living, new forms of actually establishing different imaginaries with technology or with public health. What the office is doing is allowing citizens to find the place, the moment and the context to have a different relationship with their personal memory. We want to do so by creating collective dialogue, firstly about the past, so that we can unlock the potential to enrich both the present and the future. And what we aim is for synthetic memories to become a catalyst for creating a positive bias, especially towards underrepresented and vulnerable communities. Ensuring technology is not a memory replacement, but really a tool for understanding.